Okay, guys, so sorry. Um, yes. Good. So how was the weekend? Pretty good. I mean, besides the fact that um, I got grounded for not cleaning my room, um, that's about it. Have you cleaned it now? Yeah. Good. So, what about you, Summer? How was your weekend? Okay, guys, so, uh, right now I'm on mute, but, um... Just the so same thing every day. It's, it's 11.32. I'm two okay. minutes late to this meeting. So, did you clean your room? Took care of your things? Yeah, I cleaned my room. Okay. Good. So, what about you? Did you clean your room? I was doing the project that I had to do, so, yeah. Okay. So what else do you guys do all day? I mostly just watch NCIS on Netflix. Okay. So what about you, Summer? No, no, just work. Just work? Do you guys go out and exercise or walk or ride a bike or do something like that? I have an indoor gym. Oh, you have an indoor gym, but you don't go out like, huh? No, I don't want to catch the corona. No, no, nobody wants you to catch corona. Nobody wants corona. to catch corona anyways. But oh, if we have it. gloves, we put a mask, then I stay away from every person, like seven, eight feet, I would say. And just walk and just breathe in fresh air, get some I actually don't have an indoor sun. gym. I don't know why I told her that. That will help. Yeah. And they are going to, do you know, they are going to open parks now. Uh, the state parks so people can get uh, some exercise. Yeah, that's what they are doing. Looks like everybody's sleeping today, huh? Yeah. People are not coming to the meeting. I have one question uh, mm -hmm. for, or it's actually, well, it's technically one question, but okay, so for the the new, where, what's it called? The new, new stuff assignment. that you put in for this week, mm -hmm. which um, folder is it in? Um, I have a message here folder, right? Did you get it? I have two folders. No, one is individually assigned to you. The other one, which is, uh, I think the color, let me check the color, which color, uh, black one. Did you get the black one? Yeah. Yeah, the black one is yours. Okay. Yeah. That's the black one. And the uh, Unit 8 Lesson 4 Digital uh, Lesson Worksheet, just know that all the answers that I put in are probably going to be somewhat, like, accurate because that's, like, my specialty. Like, that's what I'm studying right now. Oh, okay. That's very good. Yeah, so... So, who is teaching you? Um, I actually have... Um, online campus courses oh okay so what about you summer do you have any uh problem, which is actually um, true i do have the material um, online I'm posting i did have a question but um because the way you did it this time it's like you put the link in one assignment and then in the next assignment you put the Worksheet. Mm -hmm. For the link, it says we have to submit something. I yeah, do what actually you have to have submit have, is um, that you have in the second assignment where you have the worksheet, you have to print that worksheet and uh, uh, watch from my TV, uh, weather channel, this. and you have to record the weather for three days. Okay. After you are done with three day recording, then you post that uh, submit that worksheet to that link, the blank one. So do we have to submit it to both of them? 
no one no not both of them the one that empty that has the link that is the submission link okay it's a media album and the one that has the worksheet you print the worksheet and record the weather um, watch tv channel and for three days like if you start today uh, you record whatever they are asking uh, uh, temperature pressure whatever you do it um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever, three consecutive day, days. When you are done, uh, you uh, you take a picture of that worksheet and upload it to the link. That's the media album. So it will be like a JPEG picture. And what about the di digital lesson? The digital, where you, have, where you have to do the whole lesson in your electronic book, that's what you are asking? Yeah. Yeah, that you, um, uh, you open the lesson, uh, you, your a lesson is not going to be open. First you go and sign in Think Central, okay, with your password and everything. Once you sign in, in the Think Central and then you click the link to the digital lesson, digital lesson is going to open. Okay. Okay, because whenever you have a digital lesson from your uh, science fusion book, unless you sign in in the science fusion book via Think Central, your lesson is not going to open. Same thing with the labs. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, which school uh, you guys are going to go? Uh, Austin or? Austin. I'm As going to Austin. You? Okay, yeah, that's a very good school. Yeah. Yeah, I go sometime teach over there. It's a really nice school. Yeah, and this um, in ninth grade, you are going to have biology. So next unit that we are going to start is ecology. So you will have the same thing, uh, one chapter of ecology in your ninth grade also. So when we start the next uh, unit, which will be next week, then you guys, um, you know, pay attention to it because it will help you in your ninth grade uh, course. So this, um, um, you know, week we are going to stay with the weather and how to uh, forecast weather maps and uh, read weather maps and all of that. And then uh, next week we are going to start the last unit, which is uh, ecology, and that will we will cover till the end of the semester. And uh, of course, that will be it. So, uh, do you guys have any question? Do do you do you want me to go over? Uh, few main points as far as the weather uh, is concerned. Do you need any help? Sure. Okay. Okay, how are you, Alessa? Doing good? Yes. Very good. Your weekend was fine. Good. Did, did you do any work during the weekend? Yes. You did. Very good. Any question from uh, this week's work or last week's work? Um. Okay, I will go over a few main points as far as weather is concerned. This section that we are doing this week is all about weather. Now, when we say weather, uh, the scientists, when uh, meteorologists, the per people who study weather, when they uh, uh, you know, predict or forecast weather, the things that they are taking in consideration is the temperature, uh, pressure, humidity, precipitation, wind direction, um, and uh, so those are the uh, things that we have to uh, study in order to predict weather. Okay, so um, the weather is formed due to movement of wind and water. 
and the reason wind and water move because of there is a difference in pressure in different areas and why there is difference in pressure because there is a difference in temperature at different places and the temperature is different because the earth is spherical and it does not get heated evenly by sun so the places which get the direct sun heat from um, the, around the equator they are uh, warmer as we move towards the pole uh, it uh, gets colder and colder so in the warm places um, okay, the I air know, is lighter um, the so guys as you can tell I keep air are like far apart so the and then looking is low that's so because the everything that higher I have the I temperature write down because the lower if I just like type pressure. it out and then I forget something, um, and the it lower won't come back the to me. That so, the yeah, I the have to start writing it down here. Is going to be, the Where's higher is going to be oh, the it. pressure because in colder um, things, the molecules are close together. Now, the um, air in a uh, region where with air masses are... Um, the air, uh, air, areas of air or atmosphere which have the same pressure and same, um, uh, same sorry, same temperature and, and uh, um, humidity, they are called air mass. Okay, because uh, air atmosphere have different temperatures and different areas. So and so the um, play, uh, um, the amount of air. But the, the places uh, which have uh, the air or water with the same temperature and humidity, they, they form uh, what we call the air masses. Uh, and they have, uh, depending upon the temperature, uh, temperature, the air mass can be of the high pressure or a low pressure. Now, when the two air masses collide, they, what they form is called front. That's what we hear all the time, cold front and uh, warm front. So we will talk about it uh, tomorrow in detail, but uh, um, there just um, another thing that before talking uh, about the front, I want to explain is the high pressure system and the low pressure system. Like I said, high pressure, when the air has high pressure, its temperature is going to be low because uh, when temperature is low, the molecules of air are close together, so they are exerting more pressure. So low temperature is, of course, towards the um, poles. And so when air have high pressure, that means it is dense and it becomes heavy, so it's going, it goes down, it sinks, okay? So and when it is sinking, it moves in a, a uh, clockwise manner. So when air sinks and then it disperses, then uh, the weather is nice and there is sunshine and all of that. And high pressure system, um, then uh, the other pressure system is your low pressure system. Low pressure means that the temperature is going to be high because when temperature is high, the molecules are far apart from each other and then when they are far apart they are going to exert less pressure so low pressure system uh, has um, high temperature so in the high temp uh, pressure system the uh, um, um, air moves down in low pressure system it goes up it goes up it warms and rises and then when it becomes cooler and it condenses it forms clouds okay and those clouds bring us rain and uh, um, severe weather so more of severe weather is caused by low pressure system the high pressure system is where uh, gives us mild weather a nice weather sunshine so remember that when uh, the pressure is high the temperature is low and air is moving down when it's moving down it is moving in a clockwise direction and then we, when it moves down we have clear skies and sunshine and all of that on the other hand when air is moving up that means the air is lighter 
the pressure is going to be um, higher. Uh, the uh, temperature is uh, higher, then the pressure is going to be lower. So air is going to rise when the temperature, when we boil something, you have seen that it rises. It rises up. It when it rises up, it becomes uh, cooler, and when then it uh, becomes cold it picks the moisture from the atmosphere and we, it forms clouds and then we get all this rain and all of that so that's the low pressure system so these are the two pressure system and air mass is a particular area of atmosphere when the, where the temperature and the humidity is the same and the pressure is also same so okay, guys, those, uh, that's all that I have for today um I think I'm going to see if my friend can call me because um, I want to see what he's doing for science. And then, yeah, I love you guys. Stay awesome, stay happy, peace. Oh, sorry. If you guys do uh, like this video, please comment down below if the comments aren't disabled. And comment down below the video you want me to do next. If you don't like this video, um... No, I'm good. You're good? Okay. So, tomorrow, um, I hopefully, because the, sec, uh, the first uh, lesson starts tomorrow, uh, is for 21st, so read the lesson before you come to the meeting. Um, if, you, um, if you do the uh, lesson from your uh, electronic book before you join the meeting then it will if there are any questions then i can answer you for that i love the meeting okay guys so um if like i said if you do enjoy this video please comment down below that you want to see more if you didn't enjoy this video then comment down below something else you would prefer to see that i did um like i said if the comments aren't disabled and um yeah. I love you guys. Wait, oh, wrong hair. <sighs> I love you guys. Stay awesome. Stay happy. Peace.